Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 6, is it, of my Conquering the British Isles series. Now, we're on the last day of the season here with Anna and Athletic, and since you last joined us, which I think, where was it? That Clyde game? No, it's the Queen's Park game. Yeah, so we drew that one all, and since then, uh, results haven't been brilliant, and we've ended up, well, we haven't ended up yet, because we've got one game left in seventh place but that is where we're going to finish because there's four points to east five and four points to queen's park so we're not not going to get promoted which is a shame we have no chance of getting the playoffs but i'm pretty confident about next year i think we can definitely push for push for a promotion i made a couple of signings like proposed signings in the future because out of contracts uh, there's this guy Andrew Ward, um, who from Alloa, he's a centre back. There's Dale Shirky, who's a striker from Air. Mark McGuigan, no, that's not happening. I think he rejected my contract. Uh, Craig McDowell from Alloa again, he rejected the contract. But then Darren Levery, and yeah, that was withdrawn. So yeah, it's these two mainly, um, who I'm trying to bring in. Um, and yeah, they're decent players. Uh, they're from higher divisions, and hopefully they can do well for us. But back to today's game. Now, oh, Kyle Lund Lander's out of contract. I think I'm going to offer him a contract because he's been decent, but no, he doesn't want it. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be tough when uh, players like Roger Hamill, Hamill, London, and Ogan go back to their parent club. None of them wanted to sign a contract. I, I, actually, that's a lie. Hamill did, but he then his um, club, Carlisle, offered him a contract. Can I get him on loan for the... Can, can I do this? Can I get him on loan again? Oh, now they want 100% wages and I can only afford 40. How about a transfer off? Nah, I don't have the budget. Um, so yeah, going into today's game, I've already chosen the team. Uh, it's largely similar to the other other ones. Just Actually, sorry, just looking back at our results. Um, forgot to go through them. So where were we? Queen's Park here. So yeah, then we won our bro against our both 2-1, which was a good result. Lander and Omar getting the goals for us before they pull one back. We then lost East Fife. Omar put us ahead, but then, yeah, we conceded three goals. Uh, drew 2-2 with Albion. Uh, they went ahead through Jamie Bishop. And then Omar and Lander's goals, uh, Lander's goals uh, pull, uh, put us in front, but then they got a late equaliser. Then lost to Berwick. I'm not even going to go into that. I hate playing Berwick. <laughs> uh, then we beat East Sterlingshire 3-0. Morgan Roger and Liam McGregor, who's the youth candidate signing, got quite a few decent ones up from there. We then lost 5-3. This was a good game against Clyde. Um, yeah, Kasseri, Omar and Morgan getting our goals. Uh, we then lost 3-1 to our both. Hunter own goal, only goal for us, which is actually Swinglehurst's goal, basically. I don't know why they gave it a got own goal. Uh, we then beat Queen's Park after going behind uh, Lander and Morgan with the goals. Uh, we then lost East Fife, we went ahead, they equalised straight away, and then, uh, yeah, they got a late winner. And then, one of the most amazing games I've ever seen on Football Manager, which unfortunately ended us, ended us losing 8-4. Shane Sutherland scored a hat-trick, Craig Gunn scored 5, and yeah, we got goals through Hopkirk, Hopkirk Omar, and Swinglehurst, and yeah, Hopkirk scored 2. And um, if you just look... In the forty, uh, the injury time before half time, there were three goals: Omar, and then Gunn, and then Swinglehurst. Uh, this was because at the time when uh, that that goal went in, we were four one down. I just put on overload, um, and yeah, for the rest of the match, and then there were tons of goals. Um, so that was a decent match. But today we've got Montrose, who are bottom of the table. they were already into the playoff with the Highland League slash Lowland League clubs. Um, I didn't actually realise that they'd introduced that the Scottish League. I thought it was still no relegation. But yeah, they're in the playoffs. And hopefully we can uh, end on a win and carry that momentum into next season. So I'm just going to submit the team and go into it. So they're playing a 5-4, 4-5-1 formation. I'll say put an end to our bad run. And they seem motivated. So yeah, as you can see, I've switched back to 2D because of uh, the uh, big upload time. Um, there's a possibility that I might be getting fibre optic Wi-Fi, which could like m allow me to put it back to 3D as the upload speed will be a lot quicker. But it is, I'd say, 30% likely. And yeah, but um, 
I think 2D swipe for now and obviously you'll see the goals like the one we just scored in 3D on the replay. So Rabin Omar gives us the lead. Great start. Hamill rolled it into Morgan. Morgan round the corner to Omar and that's a good finish into the bottom left from Rabin Omar, our top scorer this season. And our captain. Uh, so yeah, Morgan into Omar to Junior Ogun. Black. Junior Ogun's one we're going to miss next season. Hamill. Morgan Omar. Ooh. And Lander. Uh, Bald as well. And it's black now. Looking for Lander. He was offside. So yeah, Kyle Lander's one that in the second half of the season has really like come on as a player. I didn't play him hardly at all. But then yeah, he's he's done decent for me. He scored a few goals. And yeah, I, I think I've offered him a new contract. Uh, O'Neill in. And yeah, Stuart with a good save. So he looks long towards Morgan. Heard Ogan. Hamble up to Omar. Omar hits the post. Oh, Great shot from Omar. But yeah, unfortunately in the post there. Uh, so it's Heard. It's Wood. Day. Good save by Stuart. Stevenson in. And it's Wood now. So interestingly, as you can see that Algin City on the edge of the playoffs could... Uh, if they, they're drawing right now, so if they start winning, because East Stirling sure would be in Albion, they'll get into the playoffs. So yeah, I'll be actually kind of glad to rid of uh, get rid of Albion City, as well as Berwick. They're probably my two worst teams to play against. Um, I've actually done all right against Arbroath and Albion Rovers. And yeah, Clyde hasn't been too bad. I mean, actually, I've only got like one point from their games, but it, like they've been tight games most of the time. So yeah, Albion City and Berwick would be the two to get rid of. Um, so yeah. Hopefully we can go on and win this. 1-0 up. Uh, guard against complacency. Some people look stressed, but yeah, mainly a positive reaction. So here's Roger, his Swinglehurst. And yeah, Omar's picked up his little injury, so I might sub him soon. Here's Roger. Go on, Landon. Landon. Ah, oh, I should have scored. So yeah, we're, get, we're carving out the opportunities here. But uh, so far, uh, Montrose have been able to defend them or at least get lucky uh, so I'm gonna bring on Liam McGregor the young uh, forward on for Omar and I'll say no pressure and he yeah, pre appreciates the calming words uh, appreciates the calming words uh, so hopefully we can get a couple uh, a second goal to um, basically seal the win they were unlucky not to score from that corner. His Stewart, his Morgan. Go on, McGregor. McGregor! Oh, this young striker has. Yeah, he's been a revelation the last couple of games, and that's a great goal. I am definitely going to be uh, playing him quite a lot next season. Great finish that was. So, yeah, after this episode, the next episode will be in the new season, probably before the first game of the season. I'm. I'm thinking I sh I want to like live com the uh, Petrifact training cap cup quite s simply just so I might be able to live com a win except I've got one here pretty much um but yeah it'd be, and it'd be nice to see competitive action I like to I like to live com on competitive action as it's a bit more exciting especially if it goes to extra time and penalties so yeah his herd Webster herd oh well blocked and Morgan gets away to McGregor McGregor. McGregor, Gordon Hamill, McGregor, unfortunate there. So here's Swinglehurst, Hamill, McGregor, Watson. So yeah, game over. Uh, sorry, I didn't speak for a second. I, I've, to be honest, I forgot I was recording for a couple of seconds. But yeah, Annan, we get 42,000 for finished seventh place. So that'll be good for our finances if we just go on them right now. Our balance is currently 10K. And hopefully that'll go up to 50, 57-odd K. Uh, unless that's already counted in. But yeah, I'm just going to do the end of season meeting. Um, Long season... Uh, I'm going to say promotion next time around. And I'll say... I disagree. I think we can perform... Everyone performs at their best. 16 and 16. Uh, I have to say I'm disappointed. 
So yeah, slightly more, oh, quite a lot more negative reactions than good, but hopefully that won't really affect them too much. So end of season confidence which is cool. uh, review, <laughs> I'm very secure, so we just go on this confidence. Uh, job status, yeah, it would cost a lot. Uh, squad harmony, decent. Wages, club structure, training cup. Delighted <laughs> that we reached the second round. Scottish League 2, the board was delighted that the team achieved a mid-table position. Okay. Well, we were meant to only be competitive, so... Actually, yeah, overall the season wasn't too bad. Um, transfer reactions, Stuart McCollum out. They didn't like that. Mm. Johnny Stewart they didn't mind, and Ross Meekin, he's the guy I brought in from Stan Asmere. 18k, and yeah, they feel disappointed he's played so few games. That's because he, to be honest, that's because he's a right back, and I've been training him. Uh, so I'm going to start the preseason really early, get the fitness up. They may not like it, but there you go. So, um, yeah, a good win in this episode, but the overall season has been a little bit disappointing. We'll be sure to push for promotion. I will be staying at Annan next year. Unless I get like a job offer from, I don't know, Rangers or Celtic or something like that. Or maybe in another division. But yeah, so I will see you guys at the beginning of the next season. I've been the FM Gaffer and I'll see you guys in the next episode.